Okay, let's get it started. Were they clapping? It's done. That's what you, you don't know. Though? That's what you think audio. No, I'm saying we're like on TikTok. They clap the Look how big this is! Oh my goodness! We haven't had a paper in so long. We haven't had a large one. We've had the the last few ones. puzzles we had didn't have oh, one. Oh, that's true. Big and it's a full size sheet. I guess we don't have a box, so that makes sense if they would give us a nice paper. Oh. We'll just put another box behind it. Oh wait. We'll just put a box. Okay. A box. Okay. And a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is the puzzle we're doing. There's a picture of it uh, right there. I think there's not. Oh anything. no! Right there. It's right there. That way. Oh, that's really good. You <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. This is really interesting. It comes in a nice bag too, so I'm expecting the pieces to be really good. That other one did too. Really. Yeah. Let's do it. And I imagine there's not going to be like any puzzle books, right? Lines! Lines! There's not what? This one, we're doing an easy puzzle after doing a hard puzzle. I, I the last like, two have been pretty difficult. There's probably not going to be any... Wait, they're kind of big. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. Not out of topics to talk about. <laughs> to... I don't even know what I'm trying well, to say. Well, if That's... someone comes in, they can give us a topic to chat about. No, I don't know, maybe. Amber versus her. Uh, Amber versus her. <laughs> Accurate, though. My subconscious knows. You know, I'm still out on who... I don't give a fuck who did what, honestly. You would have brought it up. I know. I just, it's all, always on my timeline, oh. so I don't really, I can't get away from it. Oh. But it's just like, I don't really care. I'm not really messed up. Well, everybody's timeline got messed up. Did you not hear about that? Uh-uh. You're not even on that side of TikTok? The side I of... lost my account. Oh, right. But <laughs> it's the side of TikTok that complains about TikTok on TikTok. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like that side. Yeah. I'm gonna be on that side. Yeah. Well, that's kind of annoying. Because I'm like, okay, everybody's algorithm is messed up. Mine seems fine because I'm still getting information about how everybody's algorithm is messed up. It's really annoying that my account is I'm gonna complain about that forever and ever and ever and ever. The day I die. Yes. Yes. Oh, you don't have that sound on your TikTok? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be our new thing. What's on your side of TikTok? There is, there's a, <laughs> there's a TikToker I follow who, she has, she's on the mentally unstable side of TikTok and her friend is on oh. the normal, <laughs> normal side of TikTok. Um, so she'll play, like, the stuff that's popular on her side yeah. and see if her friends heard of it and she never. Really? Never has heard of it. She's just like, what is wrong with you? Because, <laughs> like, sometimes... Maybe we should do that. It's crazy on our side. I think that would be fun. That would be fun. Because, yeah, we follow totally... I think there's a few that we follow the same, but, yeah. I don't know why I'm on your side. <laughs> I like this anarchy. Yeah, let's go back to just throwing the pieces in the air and see if they, if they fix themselves. Because, <laughs> honestly... Now, do you like the... Grumpy me, or the always laughing me. Oh, I like you either way. Aww. I'll keep you, I think. Thanks. I don't think I have much tree. Yeah, I do. Yeah. If anybody could just, like, not speak to you ever again, well, mm -hmm. it depends on you, actually, because I've tried. I just do have a key to the house. I say, there's been times in my life where I've tried <laughs> to get away and to work. In a healthy way. Yeah. Not in yeah. a healthy way. It was definitely for my own safety. That I didn't disappear. Oh, I was gonna say that you were getting away from me. I was like, no. wait, what? The opposite of what I said. What? That you wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm fucked up in the head. We, oh. we know. Well, you know, it's the genes. Yeah, genetics for sure. Yeah, can't really say Because, yeah. I'm perfect. Ooh. My dad tells me that all the time. He's perfect. But it is perfect. I can be perfect, right? I mean, technically, we're not genetically. Perfection is. Other, I would but... say perfection is genetic. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, you're calling me perfect? Sure, Mom. You got that on tape. I don't know why I'm sneezing today. 
Oh, all that rain has just made the trees crazy. I don't have allergies. Dang it. <laughs> I don't think you get a choice in Oklahoma. You show up in Oklahoma and it's just like, you have allergies now, good luck! <laughs> I have not had them my entire life. That was, and that's the same as me. I didn't until I worked at daycare. Four kept been in my mind, and all of a sudden, boom! Hello! Children. There it is. They're the worst. There it is. I have not children now. I don't, I don't know. Just okay. You had a better immune system at 20 than you did at, uh, well, that's you know, sure. 50. Yeah, he kind of took my immune system and just shredded it because... Whenever he started daycare that time, oh, we were both sick for a month. But yeah, the Amber Heard. No, oh. it's weird. It seems like they're doing it to get their names back in the media because I... they've kind of been forgotten about. I don't know about that because he was gonna be shooting a new. Uh, uh, oh, it's the same uh, stuff with like the Jack Will, Barrow. the Will Smith. Blech. Stuff I'm like I'm so disgusted. Can you rich that. people calm the fuck down, please? Like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just the fact that he got to sit in his seat and wait for his award and got to go up and get his award and give a speech is disgusting to me. Yeah, like that he wasn't taken in. I mean, taken off the stage that, right then and taken to jail. Well, if that had been any normal person, yeah. it was obviously staged. That's that's it the big wasn't. conspiracy theory is that's been staged, and I I agree it probably was because nobody was watching. What was it? What was the in the event? The Oscars? Yeah. Nobody was even watching the Oscars until that happened. It wasn't staged because of all of. Uh, nobody, nobody gives a shit about the Oscars. Uh, Chris Rock's. I didn't know Chris Rock had so many brothers, but they're all pretty ticked off. <laughs> it was staged. I don't think it was. I mean, I even if so it too. wasn't, who fucking cares? Because they have more money than we could ever possibly make in our life, and that doesn't give live... you the right to hit no, people. I'm not saying it does. I'm saying it's such a petty thing for them right. to argue about. I, I don't. I just don't care. But I mean, he should have been taken off stage and taken to jail. He should have been able to go back to his seat. Yeah, he should. Well, I mean, you have to press charges for assault, but yes. But I mean. That's why I think it's staged, because he didn't press charges. He was just like, ha ha, moving on. And it's like, yeah, a normal person would not react that way. I don't think he knew. Well, did you see um, Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle was uh, you know, doing a stand-up, and somebody stormed the stage to hit him and tackled him? That guy got... Arrested? Accidentally tripped. <laughs> Yes, he did get tackled and arrested. Uh huh. That's why I think the whole Will Smith yeah. thing is staged. He never would have made it onto that stage to hit him. No, I don't no think way. he wouldn't have made it on the stage because because yes, security would have stepped in. Security would have stepped in and been That's like, "No." I'm saying, why didn't security step in? Because and... it was staged. <laughs> because it was already in the the. Well, nobody was watching the Oscars, and then everybody's like, "Oh, I'm still not gonna watch." The Oscars. No, I didn't watch the Oscars. I watched that one clip, and I was like, "That's dumb." Rich people fighting. Moving on. There's more important things in the world, you know, like a war across the country, uh, across the world. Right our now. homeless or our vets or our children mm -hmm. being trafficked or stolen. Exactly. Way more important than the fucking Oscars. Why don't you spend money on that? Okay. Thank you. I oh, appreciate no. the lurker. Hi. <laughs> But anyway, I, that's what I'm saying is nobody wants to We're watch a bunch of rich, rich people. people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> who isn't complaining about rich You know who isn't complaining about rich people? Rich people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, they got problems. Just because they're rich, they don't have problems. Yeah, but they can pay to get rid of them. No, you cannot. Got a problem? Pay it away. No, you cannot. It's not in my experience. Have yeah, you but ever been they, rich? No. they don't have the problem of, oh, I can't make. I, do I fill up my tank of gas or do I eat this week, you know? They've, a lot of them started from them. Yeah, and it's it's sad that they lose sight of that. Yeah. They get so out of know. touch with Depends reality. I've seen a lot of people who have made a lot of money be, and then people. they did good stuff with that. What we just could be. I don't want to fucking be good. Be I won't be the villain. <laughs> No, I'm the villain today. 
Yeah, you are. You have to be the good person today. I'm grumpy. Yeah, I feel like so. Here's my problem with the award shows. I feel like uh, it's it's still flaunting wealth, which in this day and age is so insensitive that it's like, why are you oh. still doing this? And nobody cares about the Oscars' opinion of movies anymore. Everybody we goes, never have. Every well, I <laughs> but before the internet, you had you didn't have Rotten Tomatoes. Now everybody just goes to Rotten Tomatoes and see see if it's good. Nobody gives a shit what the fancy people in their fancy dress they care about. And I don't even agree with half the awards anyway. I'm pretty sure they pay for their awards. Okay, if they took all the money that it cost to dress up, like mm -hmm. they spent on a dress uh -huh. and gave it to a charity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that would put a lot of people out of work. So setting up, you got to think of that too. Who, who's going to run the charity? People. They got to get a paycheck. They got to pay bills. Yes, but makeup artists and hairstylists are not going to run a charity because they're makeup artists and hairstylists. They wouldn't be if there wasn't such a demand for it. Oh we're back to the demand of socioeconomic <laughs> subjects we're not we're not fucking yeah. educated on at no, all. No. Just like I'm saying, if everybody lived in a rocket ship, everybody would be in a rocket Oh my god. Like, what you would have to be. No, you don't. Everybody knows how to use a light switch because they live in a house with a light switch. It's the same thing. A light switch and a rocket scientist is not the same thing at all. It eventually could become considered the same. Not. Yes. No, no not in the same category. You don't watch enough sci-fi and it shows. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay, but I'm talking about real world and you're talking about... I'm fantasy. talking about future real fantasy. world. It's only fantasy until it happens. Oh, is that like, uh, I saw uh, it's only conspiracy theory until it comes true? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, if only if you don't believe the whole reality is a simulation, you know what I mean? Yeah, we are not in a simulation. You don't know. We don't do know. Uh, you don't. That could be programmed in. You don't know. <laughs> you were like, what is she doing? It's not touching me. <laughs> that is a job. Change your diapers. I can. Pinch I'm me? I'm not going to hurt you. I don't know. You just came at me out of nowhere. <laughs> Why would you take all those to you? Because you have more right there. Where? Right there. Where? Here, I'll do it for you, babe. <laughs> Go, me. Put the first beat together. High five. Thank you. <laughs> that's good luck. Today's cool. been a good post game day. It really has I really been, even though I've been grumpy. <laughs> Minus your attitude, today's been a good post game day. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me this week. I am so... Hmm. I think it's the rain. It makes everybody grumpy and tired, and then we still have to go- well, I still had to go to work anyway, which sucked. I'm gonna start all of them, and you just aren't gonna work with me. I'm not working against you. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> See, you're actively working against me. I'm not helping. You know what? You do the podcast <laughs> by yourself. People, how's it going? <laughs> they all just say hippo. <laughs> what is a wait? Five letter. A oh, five letter it's word. Five? It's six. H e l l o. A five letter word yes. that starts with H and ends with O. Not hippo. Edge and last. Not hippo. Edge last. That's actually pro probably pretty smart. My, it actually I, is, but I can't. Edge, yeah. <laughs> I would do the edge last too, but she has problems. What? I mean, it makes sense because the edge it is probably going to be the hardest part. But we don't we don't cower from the hard part of the puzzle. No, we're not cowering. We got this. I put the three <gasps> pieces. I put zero. One, two, one. Can you put one. one piece together? I put the first. Always. Yeah, we're gonna have good luck on this puzzle. Yeah. First pieces went together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's really far back. You two. You two? You. It's a. It's a app. 
that you watch people's lives on. You, I thought you said YouTube, YouTube. like the band, not YouTube. YouTube. Yes, I know what YouTube is. I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was raised on YouTube. Oh my You've been around since YouTube was invented. Well, before that. You're so old. It was invented two years before I graduated high school. Well, exactly. You've been around since YouTube has been invented. I just said. I didn't always argue. You literally argue with yourself. I know. Yes. It's Edge first, you know. It's... You really? can't do nothing but. What? But see, it's so easy because you can just go down the line. My way is easier. I'm putting words together. You're putting words together? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Take a lot to do How that. that feel so sarcastic? <laughs> I'm proud of you, dear. You can put letters together. <laughs> <laughs> You said words, not letters, but okay. <laughs> I know, but it worked out. It's so confusing over here. <laughs> my mom's side of the brain, my side of the brain. <laughs> Which is really weird because you're usually the one who organizes things. Yeah. So. But I don't need to. I don't know. This is how my brain has worked this week, and I'm just going with it. You, you've learned this to This is... Okay. The whole universe is off. You learn to not fight it. Uh -uh. Well, I, I go through phases at work, too, because, like, obviously what I do is very logical. Right. But sometimes computers are not um, very logical. Mm, so sometimes sure. you just kind of muck around until it works. Ooh. And that's what I did all week. I clicked the same buttons over and over again in slightly different orders until it worked. So every time I put one together, I bring it out. Out of the closet? No, what was it doing out. in there? <laughs> bring it out of where? I don't understand. <laughs> Please explain. It gets to move out of the line. You kick it out of the house? Nice. <laughs> Break its plate. See, that That was a thing when I was... Yeah. That's insane. That he broke our plate whenever we graduated. Also, what a weird concept. <laughs> Not that, but just like kicking your kid out of the house at a certain he age. He didn't kick us out of the house. I know, but he I'm just saying, societal norm, right, is yeah. to say, oh, you're an adult, get out of my house. That doesn't make any sense. Back in the day, you lived with your parents forever. Honey, it's not a societal norm. It is a societal norm. It is not. What? Nobody I know moved out of the house the day they turned 18. Not a single person. I moved out of 19. Yeah, that's not what you were saying. I know, but it is. You said societal norm it was is to kick your kid out but whenever it, they turn 18. But, like, they have a whole phrase for it now. Failure to launch. What? Is when your kid moves out and moves back in. It's called oh, that's crazy. failure to launch. Yeah. That's it's crazy. insane. That's insulting. Yeah, it's insulting. I never moved back home. Um, yeah. Should you have? Probably, yes. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> but I'm a very stubborn person. You would rather torture yourself and I, I actually... cause yourself more trauma than yeah. move back in yeah. with your parents. Yeah, what does it say about you guys? <laughs> I'm just I kidding. Mean, it says nothing about you guys. It doesn't. It says you're very stubborn <laughs> Yeah, I, there were several times where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna live in my car. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Oh god, your mother would have never allowed that. I know. If, if I would have had to fake where I was living for a while. You would have. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that you could have. Because I showed up at your have apartment. You met me? Did I, I not? would have tried. Try and succeed does not. I think it, I think that's what it maybe I'm wrong about failure to launch. I'm pretty sure that's what it's I don't think there. it's failure. Oh. There's no way. Why would you where's my phone? Hold on. Oh no, she's Googling. So I took a lot of psychology classes oh, and yeah. that's what I it fucked me a lot. If you're not gonna be a psychiatrist, then don't Well, I was gonna be a teacher. Which is basically being a therapist. Uh, the way they do it nowadays. Okay. So this is what you're doing, you're doing oh. try pieces. Oh, and then they fit. Mm hmm Okay, I like this. Young adult who are having trouble becoming self-sufficient, taking on adult responsibilities. 
Oh my lord. Isn't that dumb? It's so dumb. Why is this generation so... Ah, we didn't come up with that. Mm. that I was... didn't say you. You said, said our this generation. generation. This. Yeah, we didn't come up with that. This. That was before Not our generation. You. I said this. What do you mean, this generation? That 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 was something I learned in the early 2000s. Nuh-uh. Yes. Oh and I was like, oh. Yeah, crazy. it is very demeaning. Like, fuck off. It is. That's disgusting. What if I liked my family? It's lovely. You know, Corey's teacher right now is, well, it's not, I don't know what you call him. I call him a teacher. Okay. But he's the assistant. Um, oh, so it's he lives with his teacher. mom and dad, too. And... I, I think, think it's awesome. I think it's a good financial decision in exactly. nowadays. I don't know. I think it's smart. Cause I wish I would have. Yeah. I could have saved so much freaking money. So much money. <laughs> I think about it constantly when I'm paying off my student loan. But you know, <laughs> the way you were though back then, I don't know that it would have been successful. Wait, Blue, over here. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Oh, um, that oh, color. No, I wanted to move out. Oh, no. But it goes over there, right? See? Yeah, see? I think you're right. I Did think you hear that? I think you We have right. witnessed that she said I was right? Oh, gosh. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it, would, it, it is sad how many people do end up on the street because yeah. their parents decide that it's time for them to move out. I don't understand parents who can do that. There's I a just... lot of shitty people that have children. Unfortunately, it's not a requirement for you to be a decent human being to have children. I think it should be, but... <laughs> if you want to tell people they can't have sex, then that's the only way to do that. So, and you don't want that, so... You're my favorite pussy in the world. I'm literally the only one that you'll put up with. Oh, I was gonna say, I know more than one. I can um, think that they're more favorite, but... You've been playing around with other Kelsey's. I see how they do. <laughs> been cheating on you. There is kids that get... Um... Oh, what's it called? Uh, jealous? Because their mother talks to other people? Like, weird. I used to get jealous whenever you were, like, friendly with my friends. What? Yeah, I wonder if I was a kid. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, w I was like, no, you can't like my mom. Well, it's probably because people <laughs> like you more than they like me. <laughs> Let's be fair. Let's get your mom to take us. Drop you guys everywhere. Yeah, exactly. There's reasons to move back home. Well, but you also have to have a parent that you like to live with, too. Yeah, that that's really good that you got out of that situation. And I yeah. I was too stubborn, unfortunately. It's she was in a bad situation too. Yeah. Not yeah. I gotta not do that to myself. I'm always like, it wasn't that bad though. It was bad. You know? And it's really irritating. every time my mind's like, no, but it could have been worse. So her sister was in a similar situation. No, no. We went over and packed her up and moved her out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was reasonable. That I you were in that situation, and we weren't allowed to come over. And nobody knew. I didn't talk to anybody. You didn't know how bad it was because no, I, I didn't, didn't tell you. I didn't. Because I knew exactly what you would do. <laughs> <laughs> I was. But do you, stop it. No, you aren't. I was. No, you aren't. Uh, no, you aren't. It wasn't. I'm fine now. Yes. Oh. Luckily, yeah. my husband came and Your saved husband the day. Is the really but well he's definitely better than I am because I mind picking up after my husband <laughs> he's, he's, he does not mind picking pretty, up after his he's wife he's a pretty great guy <laughs> pretty awesome not to brag but, but... <laughs> I know it's so unhealthy your situation was bad I know you don't want to know that it was bad but like don't compare your situation to other people I have such a hard time with that because I'm like, but other people have it worse. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't d diminish my... Well, and I would always say, like with my bad relationships, I would always say, but they're not doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. <laughs> Which is that, there's a book that I read recently like that where it's like, she was like, yeah, but it, he didn't do X, Y, Z. Yeah. And then the next time he's like, 
but he didn't do Y, Z, and then the next time it's like, well, he didn't do Z. And it's like, <laughs> you're letting it go. That's why I couldn't watch Made. Yeah. That, oh, that one messed me up. But I, yeah, I, I couldn't, it. I stopped, I stopped, and I'm Maybe not going to, I'm not going to try to watch, I want to watch it because it looks so good, it but like, good. I had to, I had to yeah. stop. I couldn't watch any more of it. It was way I, too close to home for me. I didn't have any of it. If you haven't seen Made on Netflix, and you can, not a trigger uh, point. Yeah, that's the it. trigger warnings. If there is a trigger a, warning. Abound. Yeah. But it was a good movie. I don't have, the only, uh, it, um, I can't watch Because, I mean, I didn't have a kid, so it was slightly yeah. different, but. Yeah, and I think whenever you have kids in a relationship, it makes everything a hundred times more difficult because you have to think about. The other human being. Well, you have to think about, okay, am I going to make them worse by leaving or by staying? And you never know. It's always by staying. No, yeah, you never absolutely. know. Absolutely. Get them out. Figure it out. Mm. You know, no, there's never a good reason to stay in a bad situation. Never. Well, no, I'm not saying by abuse, like actual physical abuse. Any kind of abuse. I don't care. Get out. Save yourself. Figure out the rest of it later. I that's agree. now. That's now my opinion on it. Everything else will work out eventually. Just get yourself out of that situation. There's never a good reason to stay in any kind of abusive relationship. Period. But what if you don't know if it's abuse? That is the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if you're not happy, you're not happy. Get out of the relationship, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter if it's abuse or not abuse. I mean, it does kind of matter. But yeah. either way, get out of the, the relationship. If you're not happy, don't stay. There's no reason. You can still love somebody without being in a relationship with, with them. You can just love them from afar. Yeah. Easier said than done. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I am being completely <laughs> hypocritical on that. 100%. Uh, but okay. having somebody who has been through that and has yeah. been through a bad relationship, yeah. just fucking get out. Don't, <laughs> don't be me. <laughs> I was like, dang, she's taking a pretty good stance on this, but... Yeah, because I learned the hard way. <laughs> Just learn from the people who already learned the hard way. Don't do it yourself. It's not worth it. What book am I reading right now? Oh, I'm reading a book about a thruple. A thruple? I think she calls it a thruple. Thruple? Yeah. A thruple. Thru she says thruple, which apparently... Yeah, which apparently is a word. I don't know if I trust... Thruple? No. Thruple. Yeah, it's dumb. Thruple sounds better than thruples. Yeah. Yeah, that's not it. She doesn't know what she's in. We'll tell her. She doesn't. She <laughs> she actually doesn't even want to be in it, but she's like, but I love him enough to be in it. Oh, no. And then the guys are like, this is just for now. It'll be oh, fine. But no. they're like madly in love. So like it's, they're all just gaslighting themselves. Yeah. And I'm like, can you guys not just agree that you love each other and be in a happy couple? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh. Why are we pretending? I don't understand. Have you seen Selling Sunset? No. Oh my god. I don't even know what that is. Is that a... It's a show on Netflix, but it's about realtors. Which, yeah. it's, it's about really expensive, you know, glitz and glammy people. But, there's a relationship on there. Um, that they're just so perfect together and they're so sweet together and they love each other so much but she wants a baby and he does not and that is her breaking like, yeah so there's just no go find somebody doesn't that, that's what i don't understand they love each other so i mean they go be really, friends like they were such a good couple well then just and, be really good friends and find a, another person that will give you what you want and is okay with you being friends with that person. But they're a really good couple. I mean, they just, I mean, every time they walked in a room, they made each other, you could see the smile on their face. And it just sickens me that. That she demands to have a baby. No, he wants a baby. Oh, he wants He a baby. just, no, she does, but he wants a baby. He just doesn't, he's scared of screwing up the baby. Ah, uh, fair. Yeah. yeah. And you, you will. He's a twin. You will screw it up. Oh wait, why am I going to screw it up? 